Breaking news in the fight to end the coronavirus pandemic. The first vaccine to go through phase one trials and publish its results in a peer-reviewed journal is finally here. American biotech firm Moderna's vaccine candidate displayed an immune response in all patients and side effects weren't deemed significant with only one patient being removed from the trial. This according to their paper published in the New England Journal of Medicine and researchers are very optimistic. What does this mean for the pandemic and when will life return to normal? I'm Taha Arvas and I'll give you my take in brief. Moderna's vaccine candidate mRNA1237 is competing globally with other candidates and is just the first to publish its findings in a major journal. Two separate doses of the vaccine were administered in patients 28 days apart and the 45 test subjects were split up into three groups with varying doses of the vaccine. While more than half of all patients that took the more intense doses suffered from some side effects, the worst case resulted in fever-like symptoms that dissipated quickly. Although the trial was only done on healthy younger patients, the demand for a vaccine is so great that side effects that normally raise eyebrows are being taken in stride right now. With 600,000 dead from COVID-19 so far, any vaccine that prevents infection, whatever the side effects, may be acceptable, especially to those most at risk to die from it. The winner of the vaccine race will not necessarily be the one with the least side effects, however. Production and distribution of the vaccine will be a logistics feat unprecedented in human history, and competency here will be as important as the development of the vaccine itself. With the cost of the pandemic already in excess of trillions of dollars in lost economic activity, policymakers aren't shying away from throwing money at this problem. Governments have already given billions of dollars in development aid, with Moderna working closely with the National Institutes of Health. The US government also gave $1.2 billion in aid to British drug maker AstraZeneca to help it deliver 300 million doses to American patients sometime in the fall. For its part, Moderna says while it could potentially produce between 500 million and 1 billion shots a year by the end of 2020, it has already begun commercial production of its experimental vaccine. This will allow it to immediately distribute the vaccine in the event it's conclusively proven to work and gets FDA approval. The next phase of the Moderna vaccine trials begin on July 27th and will be given to 30,000 test subjects to test the efficacy of the vaccine. AstraZeneca already began its phase three trial of 5,000 patients in Brazil in June and may beat Moderna to market. Johnson & Johnson is also in the mix, beginning its trials in late July. Even if all these vaccines are successful and show that subjects are immune from contracting the coronavirus, getting FDA approval and ramping up large-scale production and distributing the vaccine will take months. This puts the absolute earliest recovery for some countries at the end of 2020, with a complete global recovery coming somewhere in mid to late 2021 at the earliest. Until then, policymakers have an important role. They need to continue to mitigate the economic effects of the pandemic while simultaneously preparing everyone for the eventual administration of these promising vaccines.